What is going on, guys? This is George. Welcome back to more SpongeBob Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated. Last time we were here, we explored Jellyfish Fields and got up to this part. And we're entering the Jellyfish Caves. Let's go inside. Oh, man, oh, man. and toys and mail. Ah, late great mermaid man. And Barnacle Boy. I know he's somewhere. Hey, huh? W what? Oh, yeah. It's that sponge kid. And now, what was I supposed to tell you? That Patrick is surrounded by robots and needs my help. Huh? Oh, no. I think it had something to do with massaging my feet. Well, if massaging your feet will save Patrick, then massage I must. Help! They're making me hit myself! <laughs> massaging your feet isn't working. I think I'd better try a more direct approach. By clipping my toenails? Here I come, Patrick! Alright, so we're gonna... And open that box. We're going to hit this for the shiny objects. And now, for my favorite song in the entire game. I love opening presents. You. Patrick needs to do laundry. That was a ton of fun. I love that freaking song. It is so awesome. Also, if you go through some of these secrets there, you're able to get the uh, two socks that I just did. That I just got. Anyway, now we're here at the checkpoint. And you need to get Patrick to help him, but he's unreachable. Maybe these switches will create a way. The robots are guarding them heavily. You have to battle through. All right, so we have basically got to fight all these robots. Don't you dare! You've just met the Spongeinator. There we go. Got one. Beat up that guy. I feel like a new sponge. I love the cat call whenever you're getting new underwear. And you won't find this out till later, but in a different level, there actually is an extended version of the SpongeBob theme to this. Or the SpongeBob song. The Battling the Robots. Now, in the original, they actually bring up the platform, so you can technically find a way to fight only two of them. But here, we're going to get all of them. Now they all show up. Hey, SpongeBob! Whew! Thank goodness you're safe, Patrick. Well, of course, SpongeBob. Why wouldn't I be? Well, the robots and the... Oh, yeah, I found this for you. I don't know what it is, but it looks important. Thanks, Patrick. I tell you what, all that running around has left me pooped. Why don't you continue on for a bit? Okay. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. So now we have a chance to play as Patrick. And I'll try really hard. But you can't hide from Patrick. <laughs> Alright, so now we are here, back towards this part of Jellyfish Field. Oh. You press B to pick this up, throw it at the goo, and now it's frozen. Oh, Scotty, another one! Now we're probably gonna drown unless Patrick's got big skills! He does! Alright! But yes. Patrick's the one that can use these. Oh, Mermaid Man, 
You're like a big heroic prune. Prunes? What? Where? All right, back up here. So, Patrick, is this a throw fruit? You can pick up throw fruits by pressing B and also throw them with pressing B. Throw fruits can push buttons, destroy tickies, and damage robots. But use it quickly because after a bit, it does go away. Yeah, it's wait this arrow pops up. Or a little icon pops up to where you can actually throw it. Just an NPC that actually does not talk. And it's just saying that we can throw it, pick it back up, and throw it there. Now, before we go any further, I kind of want to show this off as well. This is a bus stop. You may switch between playing SpongeBob or playing Patrick at a bus stop. A little unique, actually. So you can go from back and forth on each character, but we're going to be Patrick for a bit. Because we're going to need to. Throw this here, and that was basically describing that we can do this. Now we reach our checkpoint. Oh, we can finally figure out what How these are. How many of these do I have to carry? This is a Thunder Tiki! When Patrick touches it, it'll become a storm. In a few seconds, go boom! Don't be near when it goes boom. I'll just pick you up and throw you away. We already know what that means. We already know what it does. Because we've dealt with them before. Now, if we jump up here, this actually will take us back up here, which is also good to pick up the shiny objects. We have more thunders. Uh oh, this one goes boom! Oh no! Ouch. Dang it! You had to be in the way. The rock is talking to me. Almighty rock, I am at your command. Down here, you big pink lummox. Oh, hi there, Mr. Plankton. Are you going to vaporize me today? So very tempting. Unfortunately, I found myself in the undesirable position of having to assist you. I was in an undesirable position yesterday, and now my neck hurts. Do we want to question what the position was? Okay. Heed my it's for words, kids. my large future minion. Go into Jellyfish Cave. Follow the instructions on the signs that you see. At the end of the caves, you'll still be a big pink idiot, but you'll know enough to help defeat the robots and get me back into the chum bucket. Well, then will you vaporize me? I might spare your life so I can force you to work in my sweatshop, making low-quality design and knockoff wallets. Oh, thank you. Oh, gosh. For a while, I thought, like, Patrick was an enemy after that. But anyway, here... Jump in the air and press B, Patrick will slam down to the ground. Damage Tiki's are pressing buttons below him. As such. And now we are in the actual cave. Ooh, scary dark cave. Ooh, spooky, scary dark cave. Alright, so we get through here. You could have picked up mine and then go after here, but what I also want to do is pick sure this up. Carry a lot of stuff around. Throw one over here. Pick another. And throw that one. Belly butt, I guess, or head belly. I I don't know. Pick this up. Fire that here. Now we got spikies! It's kind of funny because in the current timeline on where I'm playing this game, uh, yesterday I was playing this tournament for Sonic, and I just kept getting smacked in the butt with the spikes. Well, I kept falling into spikes, so I'm just like, out of the butt! Uh, if this falls in the goo, it does become useless.
Now, the only thing I'm a little not down on, but something that I'm like, oh, they could have done this and that would have been cool, is for the rehydrated game, they actually added music for the cave other than just the jellyfish field music. And I get it, it's still a part of jellyfish field. But that would have been cool. We can throw it at the. Good presents. Right okay, there. Pick this up. Put it over here. Get right through. Otherwise, that would pop open. You can also jump on throw fruit to make bigger. Uh, to jump on higher places. So, so up here. Throw that one here. Okay, and then let's put the okay. Put you there. Put you there. And then more music. Uh oh. I don't think SpongeBob's underwear fits quite right. I don't think so either. All right, now we are here to this part of the cave, and now we have to pick up this freezy, throw it. How many of these do I have to carry? Oh, 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 oh! It's over this way. It's over this way. We get a sock oh, for Patrick. Man. I think that's all we had to get over here, actually. Now we have more kids. SpongeBob's underwear. And now you can also throw the fruit at the robots as well, or you can use Patrick Big Belly. <laughs> and do all those smackings. But they want you to do this too. So what we have to do is we're gonna pick that pick this up. Back here behind the duplicatron, we have another golden spatula. Now we're gonna go over here and we're gonna head to the jellyfish lakes. tells me you're looking for the king jellyfish. Yes. Good thing, too. That monster has been stinging all my good customers in their poop decks. I hear that you can find him up top of Old Sport Mountain here. Go hook that beast, sailor. Oh boy, Mr. Krabs. I'll see what I can do. All right. Oh. But yes, we have yet a new robot. This one likes to shoot harder saws. Or I think mayonnaise here. But we remember from the original anime where it was all about the 
Tartar sauce. Underwear fits quite right. Okay. That's much better. The underwear, so we have this some health. Goes boom. Oh, I almost got stung by a jellyfish. Play as a whistle. And hey, look, it's Mrs. Puff. Hello, Mrs. Puff. Hello, Patrick. I've got a job for you to do. Oh, boy. I found a golden spatula, but those robots out on the island stole it and threw it into the lake. If you can figure out how to get it back, you're welcome to it. Sure enough, Mrs. Puff. All right, so now we're going to go to Mrs. Uh, not Mrs. Puffs. We're going to go take care of this. Oh, hey, my back feels better. You want to throw it at these. Throw them at these fountains. I don't think SpongeBob's underwear fits right. quite right. Oh. And after doing all that, the lake gets cleared, and somehow the Duplicatron also gets destroyed. We don't know how. But we also get. Where is it? There it is. Another golden spatula. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Playing us at eight. Now, if you want to check your progress, you can hit the start menu and go into details so you can look at all the ones that you've done. So, we have two more left to do. We also have seven socks out of 14. So, we have to navigate the canyons and uh, mesas, and then we also have to do the king jellyfish and go get the jelly to squid work. Or is it? Is it just the jelly? I don't know. We're, 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 we're on it. We're working on it. But here we're gonna go for SpongeBob. That might be easier to use SpongeBob. And if I have to use Patrick, okay. That's fine. Oh, sparkling! Uh with these guys here, we're not gonna mess with them yet. They are required of another bubble power that we're not gonna get for quite a while. But if we talk to Mrs. Puff at SpongeBob. Tell me you haven't been driving. Of course not, Mrs. Puff. I don't even have a license. Oh, good. Then it was just another bad dream. And now we get the introduction of Ash Tiki. So that's what they're called. They're called Sh Tikis. Something about the Sh Tikis is you slowly creep up and you can jump on them. Alright, after beating up all of them, we have like a spring we can continue on here. I think this way is just to some underwear, not socks. Yeah. Oh. Almost had it. Well, I mean, we're not too far away from a checkpoint, so we're fine there. <laughs> Almost had it, though. Almost had it. Can't see that right here. Alright. That hurt. But now we're gonna head to this box. I feel like a new sponge. Ah, uh, yes, that the bubble cruise move. So we can't do this yet. I love opening presents. It'd be cool. But well, see, we have this, and we let go, and they disappear. 
But we can't do that yet, and I think that that's another sock. I could be wrong, but we'll try to come back here once we have that move. Get a lot more shiny objects. It's going to act my head. Uh, oh, it is Tartar Sauce still. Okay. And now these guys here. This is a stone tiki. Cannot be destroyed by ordinary tiki. Tiki blow up by thunders, though. And with that, destroys all those Tiki's and the Duplicatron. Uh, actually, no, nah, I don't want to risk it. Well, that's a big, it's a big, big, uh, shine spread, or shiny object. Oh, no! No, 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 no! Oh! Was it worth it? Yeah. <laughs> Just, 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 yeah. The only thing is we have to start back from back here, but... Transform to... The spot where the Thunder Tiki blew up the Duplicatron. Back here, you pay the 150 and you can go across. Now we reach to another higher part of the oh, higher part of Jellyfish Field. Of course it is. Why wouldn't it be? Uh, that's required by Patrick. We'll be on half Patrick right now, and kind of we kind of don't need him either. Right But I love, like, the whole, like, open world concept. I think it's, like, really a cool thing here. Again, this is one of those games where, like, you don't really see this in this era. And remember, this was a reboot or a remake of the original. So, the original had this as well. Head over here. Because I see. Boy, Patrick will be glad to have this back. And jump on this plant. And we're back here. So I have to get another sock for Patrick. Oops. We gotta creep up slowly, slowly, slowly. Smack, smack. This box also takes us back to a previous checkpoint. I'll try not to bring it up as often, it's just something that you're gonna hear in the game. Oh. And there are times too where just taking the hit will help you get the, the Fresh, robots. Like a spring breeze. Also this here is supposed to be like the sand that you're supposed to use to get to the top here. When I was a kid, I thought it was just a big piece of a car, uh, a big breadstick. I it was a big piece of a breadstick, and this was like a big a piece of uh, garlic bread. Walk away, and all that happens. I don't know if it's possible, but I might have to. But, but the. Let's see here. Do I, can I get through? Oh, yes, I can. Push this all the way down. This time I thought it was a big piece of garlic bread.
Well, this is a random spot for this. Okay. That just gives you a piece of underwear. Or, this is underwear. Gives you a piece of health, which is an underwear. SpongeBob can wall can jump up walls. And this is the symbol up here, is jump across the sides and jump again. I'm so glad they made this faster too. And less stressful. To do the wall jumps. God, they were but after knocking out that one, even though the one's staring right behind us, we have yet another golden spatula, so we are at nine. And trust me, we have a ways to go. And now, we go up Spork Mountain. is trying to help out today. Step quietly there. That king jellyfish is just up at the top of this path. Good luck. You'll need it. Thanks, Bubble Buddy. And because we have full health of underwear, we don't have to worry about these. But if you do get hit by the jellyfish, you can grab these. But anyway, head up here and... I knew the king jellyfish was big, but who knew he had such a beautiful voice? And we interrupt his bath for a battle. Oh, what? I feel like a new sponge. Didn't think I would need it, but yep, here we are. Smack him and go oh, now he's got the fist and he's pooping out jellyfish. Alright. Smack him again. Now he's got one more health left to go. And he's gonna poop out more jellyfish. It's no name! Oh no, it's no name! Damn. Alright, let's beat up the no names. Fresh like a spring breeze. Oh, oh, I thought I smacked him! What? Oh, come on! Well. At least we have no more jellyfish to interfere with, except for the king, of course. Are we gonna gloss over the fact that we just took away his bath? Well, I mean, we got the jelly, and we need it for Squidward. It shines! And now, go down here with more music! More awesome music! Oh, you need to give me a Oops! Oh, what the? Huh? No way! Hopefully I have enough of a jump! Yes! Alright! So 
we have more no names. We have more regular jellyfish. And Larry. Hi, Larry. See, no problem. You can do anything you set your mind and your muscle to. I guess they had something to do with Patrick. I, I don't know. But anyway, we're going to jump on here and we're heading back to the beginning of Jellyfish Fields. And there is Squidward. Oh, yeah. Oh, that feels so much better. Anything for my best friend Squidward. Can I rub some on? Um, uh, what if I just gave you this? All right. So, not only do we get another gold spatula, but that is now every single golden spatula in Jellyfish Field. We'll get the socks later on. I'm not too worried about the socks, but we basically got everything done in Jellyfish Fields. Next time on SpongeBob Battle for Bikini Bottom, we're going to head back to Bikini Bottom and head to the next location. This is George. I'll see you guys later.